Praise God. Jesus, bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray, and I plead the blood of Jesus on it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, y'all, this is for my Google meters, and anybody else who wants to do it, sorry about the light in the window. Can't help it. Um, for a little while, anyway. But I want to, uh, my Google meter especially, today is Wednesday. You can do this and bring this to class tomorrow night. We'll just talk about it. Um, I'm going to go over some of the prophecies that was fulfilled by Jesus. Okay, this is what you are to do. What's on the board on the left side, the Old Testament. Read those scriptures and compare it to the one on the right. And what prophecy did Jesus fulfill? Bring that to class tomorrow night. So you'll read Genesis 3, 14 through 15. And then go read Galatians, Hebrew, and 1 John. And write down what prophecy did Jesus fulfill? What was the prophecy? What did he fulfill? Okay. You got one, two, three, four, five, like six of them there. Okay. Um, if you look in Genesis 18, verses 70 through 18, then the Lord said, Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation and all nations on earth will be blessed through him. And there's more in Genesis 2. You go over to Acts uh, 3, 25 through 26. And he said to Abraham, through your offspring, all peoples on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you okay so that's an example so what was the prophecy that all nations would be blessed through abraham okay and you have for example uh micah chapter 5 verses 2 through 5 compare that to matthew 2 1 through 6 micah 2 2 through 5 but you bethlehem Ephrata, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Okay, Matthew 2, 1 through 6. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? What's the prophecy there? Be born in the town of Bethlehem of Judea. Okay, another example. Isaiah 7, 13 through 14. Compare it to Matthew 1, 18 through 23. And Luke 1, 26 through 35. All right, Isaiah 7, 13 through 14. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of men? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means what? God with us. Now you compare that to Matthew 1, 18 through 23, which says his mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. And also Luke 1, 26 through 35, God sent the angel to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. So what's the prophecy? To be born of a virgin. Okay. Uh, there's so many, there's like so many prophecies. Um, let's do one more. Psalms 22, 18, compare it to John 19, 23 through 24. Psalms 22, 18, they divide, it, they divide my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Now, John 19, 23 through 24, this garment was seamless. Let's not tear it. They said to one another, let's decide by lot who will get it. What's the prophecy there? Have soldiers casting lots for his, for his coat. Okay, so there's many prophecies fulfilled. Let's do one more just to give you an idea. Um, Isaiah 50, verse 6. Compare it to Matthew 26, 67. Uh, and Matthew 27, verses 26 through 30. And there's many more. But Isaiah 50, verse 6. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Go over to Matthew 26, 67. 
Then they spat in his face, struck him with their fists. Others slapped him. Matthew 27, verses 26 through 30. They spat on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. And there's many more. You got it in Mark and Luke and John. But what's the prophecy there? He was to be beaten and spat upon. Fulfilled, 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 fulfilled. Now, you got some right here. Genesis 3, 14 through 15. Compare it to Galatians 4.4, 4, Hebrews 2.14, 1 John 3.8. What's the prophecy there? That's been fulfilled. Then you got Psalm 69.8 compared to John 7, verses 3 through 5. What's the prophecy? And you got Isaiah 8.14. Compare it to Romans 9, verses 31 through 33. And 1 Peter 2, verses 7 through 8. What's the prophecy? Then you got Jeremiah 31. Verses 31 through 34. Compare it to Luke 22, 15 through 20. And Hebrews 10, 15 through 20. What's the prophecy? And the last one, Psalms 27, verse 12. And Psalms 35, 11. Compare it to Matthew 26, 60. And Mark 14, 55 through 61. What is the prophecy? Bring that to Google Meets tomorrow night when y'all come. If you have a chance to do it today. And even if you want to... um. If you're not coming to Google Meets, you want to put it in the comments section, please study it. That you spend some time with the Lord today. Make time. Study it and put your answers in the comments section. All right. God is watching. He knows that you're taking interest in studying his word. That's what we need to do, y'all. There's many people out here telling you the Bible's a lie. The Bible's not a lie. There's doctrines of demons floating around and you guys need to know God's word. So I encourage you to get in it. All right. God bless you all. Thank some of you for what you've done. Anything else you need is in the description or on JesusDoers.com. God bless you all.